We're in the basement of the one and only Jail of Terror. Back again with Terry. Hi. Hey, what's up? Hi. We're gonna go through a list of five super easy and really inexpensive hacks that you can use to make your last minute Halloween get up. Because I know if you're like me, I'm always last minute and I still honestly don't know what I'm gonna be this Halloween. We're gonna start off number one with tearing flesh. All right, we're gonna start with a piece of tissue and I just tore the, the hard edges off of it. I'm gonna tear a couple little holes in it. That's gonna give us some cut wounds. And then I'm gonna be applying that with liquid latex. You can get that in any store. Do you want the inside? Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of latex on that so that it'll hold the tissue paper down. And you can use tissue paper or paper towel or... Let's lay this down here. We'll keep his tattoo showing there. So you can manipulate this and kind of have it wrinkle if you want to. Kind of gives you a little bit of wrinkly skin look. That's awesome. Get it nice and saturated. So the goal is to soak the toilet paper with latex? Yes. Okay. You can use as little or as much as you want. You can layer it if you'd like to. I'm gonna put a couple tears in here. Ooh, nice. And hopefully you're not allergic to latex, so make sure that uh, yeah. Disclaimer. Make sure they're disclaimer. not allergic to latex. They might not have too much fun. <laughs> we'll find well, out. What is a good alternative if someone is allergic to latex? You can use just regular Elmer's glue. Just something mild like that. Okay. You want to smooth out the edges so it just kind of still looks like natural on your natural skin there. And if you are putting this um, on the other side of the arm where there's a lot of hair, you're going to want to put Vaseline down first because it's going to rip your hair out wherever you oh, put good, latex. Now glue tip, will not do that to you, but... Good thing you aren't hairy. <laughs> Did you forget the Vaseline up here? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we want to put the hair dryer on it for a little bit to go ahead and speed up the drying process. Now it's dry, we're going to go ahead and put some paint out, makeup paint. Any specific kind? Um, just whatever color you want to come out with. This is this is Marin brand uh, makeup paint. It's just a liquid, liquid okay. face paint. Very mild, but you can mix colors together. You can use whatever color combination you'd like. We're going to use these ones today. The Spin Nye Bruise Wheel, and that's going to be for some of the wounds that's on his arm to show a little bit of depth. So this is a good a good bruise paint. Yep. Okay. And all the stuff that we use in this video, I'm gonna put links in the description so you guys can order if you want, if you have time. But a lot of this you can find at your local Halloween store. Now we're going to go ahead and start painting Ooh. on his arm. Just kind of mix some of your colors together, like whatever color you'd like. And you wanna go around where you created the holes because we're gonna make those look like it's a bloody open wound. We'll do that, and then we're gonna go ahead and dry that as well with a hair dryer, just so we can work quicker. We're gonna go ahead and where I created some wounds here, we're gonna color that in. I'm gonna go with like a deeper red color. Just paint it in with a brush. Any kind of brush works. You can use a makeup brush or a paint brush. So now what do you do? Oh, I'm going to along the edges here, and I'm going to show a little bit, a little bit of depth to the wound. So we want to darken it up Just around, around the, edges. the edges. Yeah. I'm going to go like this to school tomorrow. I bet you won't. I bet I won't either because I don't go to school. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this? How does it look so far? Oh, this looks great. I'm terrified to put this on my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> After you do the dark outlines here, I put a little bit of yellow and green around the wound just to make it look a little bit infected. Kind of adds you. to the look. I told you you were infected, bro. I feel infected. <laughs> so now I'm gonna use a Ben Nye Fresh Scab Blood. So it's kind of a thicker, Ooh. a thicker blood. It looks like jello. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna put this on the inside of these wounds. Ew. Again, for realism. Mm -hmm. 
Here's a pro tip, you get a firm toothbrush, load up the tip of your tooth, toothbrush, it is a toothbrush. <laughs> and then you're gonna wanna use your finger, your fingernail, and aim it to where you want it to land. It kind of gives a really neat uh, appearance. Like to splatter. Any, to any makeup, yeah, kind of like splatter you can do with blood. Right, because the skin has discrepancies. Like exactly. And, stuff. and that is it. Dude, that's torn flesh right there. Torn flesh. That's really good. That is a really good effect. Okay, so this is getting fun, you guys. I hope you're enjoying the video. If you are, smash that thumbs up button and share it with your friends. But we got to get on to the next one, and that is what is super creepy and just super disgusting? Just the thought of it makes me want to throw up. You're right, maggots. So here we go, I just poured out a little bit of latex on the plate. I'm gonna take the end of a makeup brush here and just dab it on the plate about as long as you want your maggot to be. That and then we're gonna so let weird. them dry. Yeah. <laughs> These little dots right here are actually dry. You can see I've made a couple here. All you would do is take these and start rolling them. Oh. You can see it's kind of taking a little bit of a worm looking form. You can make them as thick as you want. It just depends on the size that you want. Then at the end of that, you can take a marker and just take the tip of one and put a little bit of black on it as if it were its eyes. <laughs> so they look pretty nasty. So you're giving them a face. Giving them a face. That's just a plate full of baggage. Like this right here is the simplest hack that you could use to just top off a really disgusting bloody open wound. <laughs> the next hack is gonna be something Terry calls prosthetics. A prosthetic is anything, like if you want to add like maybe a bullet wound to your makeup or um, a prosthetic is just like we did on his arm, we did the torn skin and wrinkled the skin up. Anything that you want, you can create your own with all kinds of things you just have from home. Toilet paper, um, cotton balls, anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to make a prosthetic and then we'll show you how to like put it on. All you're gonna need, need is a hot glue gun. Probably best to get one of the ones with the high heat and make sure you have plenty of glue sticks. Um, this is gonna be a bullet wound and I may end up putting some maggots in that once I'm done. <laughs> but all you do is just use your glue gun and you're gonna make a circle, whatever size that you want. Typically I don't make it really big because it may not stick to the skin. And just kind of mess up the sides because you don't want that to be a hard edge. You want it to be a soft edge to go against your skin. Because mm, you need to blend in. Right. Some of the different products that you can make are prosthetics. Um, I'm gonna do one in a little bit of on a girl that has like the wide, wide mouth that looks like it's cut. These are ones that I made earlier and just made them right here on the silicone mat and then just removed them and you'll see they turn like a white color, mm -hmm. but it's completely paintable. So you can paint, put makeup over top of it or whatever you need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and use this bullet wound here. It's a very flat surface on the bottom um, because of the silicone mat. I'm just gonna put a little bit of latex on it and then I'm gonna come over here and stick this on his arm. And you can see right away it's, it, it adheres pretty well. And then spread out your edges of latex here. Again, we, we want it to look as natural as possible. And I'm gonna get the hair dryer and I'm gonna dry it again. The hair dryer is your friend, yeah? <laughs> wow. It's movie magic. It's movie magic. <laughs> All right, now this one, I'm gonna use a little bit of brown makeup and a little bit of white. Alright, Terry, I'm learning so much right now about makeup and bullet holes and maggots and stuff. <laughs> this is black liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to fill in the inside of this hole. And then I'll slightly shade around the edges here. All right, we're gonna put the maggots that we made. Ew. We're gonna put a couple of those in this bullet wound, like it's been there for quite some time. So I've just used tweezers. We made these just out of latex earlier. Ew. 
And the latex will dry clear, so you won't even notice that. And now we've got the scab blood again, and we're gonna fill this in. Just be careful, don't cover up your maggots completely because you won't be able to see them. And that right there is how you use a prosthetic. So the next one is a really strange look. It is this 3D infected skin, and you can do it with with oatmeal. You're just gonna wanna put a little bit of latex on a plate and then just add a little bit of uh, quick oats into it and mix it up. And then you're gonna wanna let that dry. You can use a hair dryer again to let it dry and then you've got a new prosthetic. I wanna add a little bit of Vaseline to his face. That way if there are any fine hairs or anything on his face, it's not going to rip them out when we put the latex <laughs> on. And then you guessed it, hair dryer. So this is to create like a nasty looking skin, like he's got some sort of infection. It's disgusting, as you oh, can tell. You're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna paint this up again, whatever color that you want, and use the same, same process that you used before on the arm. Which leads us to our next hack, bruising and shading. All right, it's really important to shade um, and do like bruising and things like that realistically. You don't want it to look like just fake makeup sitting on your skin. You want it to actually highlight cheekbones and things like that. We're gonna do a little bit of bruising around his eye. He's not gonna like this, but I'm gonna put some of this up underneath his eye. If you look up, <sighs> you can do this. <sighs> you got it? I don't know. Did you get it? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> We're using that, that bruise wheel, right? This is the bruise wheel again that I showed already. Oh. So we're gonna mix some different colors together because we wanna give it like a realistic look to this bruise. <laughs> I just wanna get it close to his eye so that it looks more realistic. Let's do some darker colors there in the corners. And you really wanna work this out with your brush because you don't want it to be just a solid color. So I'm gonna go down this line right here. It's like a natural line on your face. You are disgusting. That's what they tell me. All right, so if you want to give like a little bit of a creepy effect to this, just to even finish off your makeup, just use a eyeliner. Start doing a little bit of veining to make it look like old yucky veins in here. Just very lightly and make sure that your eyeliner is pretty sharp tip. And there's your finished look. Kind of gives you a creepy little look there to make it more scary. Okay, so there is five Super easy makeup hacks that you can use this Halloween to really make your Halloween costume next level. We've shown you all these things individually so you can see how it's done. Now I want you to see from start to finish when you put all these things together what you could end up with. I wanna see what you guys come up with. Please share your images. If you try to do some makeup like this, share your images with me on Twitter, at Gilroy Vlog. You should go check out her Instagram, at Long Gone Dolls. I'll leave a little link down there for you to go look at it. All right guys, that's it for this video. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe if you're not already with notifications on, and we will see you on the next one.